Alright, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome back to Card City Nights 2. So, story, slot, except, yes. Okay. So what were we doing? We were kind of just bumming around. I guess, oh right, we are going to go talk to the informant. That's the thing. Oh right. Everyone thinks I look suspicious. Little do they know that it's all a ruse. I'm actually not suspicious at all. Okay, we have to fight her. Here we go. Alright, so I still got the basic battler deck. I'm st I'm still waiting on a couple of cards to roll in before I can switch it up. Uh, apparently the apathetic frog deck is super viable. I'm not entirely sure how or how, but I'll take it. Okay, so I'm gonna... I don't want to do that. We'll just do fire mace to begin with. I love you, heart. Unfortunately, heart's placement's a little bit kind of redundant right now. Yeah, apparently the max health in this game is 12, so the bonus uh, bonus healing from heart is actually redundant. Sucks. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna... I'm actually gonna put down Rainbow Ring. I'm thinking... What do we want to buff? Jenny? Nah, we'll do... We'll buff, uh, Pitch and Cat Strike. I really wish you could actually go over max health. It would make a healer deck work so much better, but it can't. Means the whole getting, um... Getting heart so early on actually does not work in my favor. Uh, there's a garden gnome right there. Can't do much about that, but I can put down Jenny Flower. Okay. I'll have to think more specifically about... Does she just have, like, a nothing deck? Is there literally no meat to it? She might not be capable of doing damage, which is really amusing. Yeah, she's literally just rolling the most nothing deck ever. That is actually really amusing to me. Let's see. I'll do crossover adventure. I'll probably be removing crossover adventure from my my deck fairly soon. But later. Okay. Uh I don't know. I guess I'll put down candy snake. Activate blueprint. Yeah, it does not look like she is actually capable of fighting back necessarily. Which is really interesting. It's a darn darn shame that he can't go over health maximum, because yeah, I I would totally do like a, a heavy healer deck. But as it stands, he can't really make it work. So whatever. <coughs> Sorry. I've had a bit of a cough lately. Okay, so we get Life Preserver, Resolve, Gain a Shield, Bob Ship, which is kind of like the super version of the Raft, but it uh, lasts for less time, Saturnus, pick your top three deck cards, placement, take one damage. Yeah, so Bob Ship, Cutting Edge Technology allows it to interfere with practically any- oh, interface with practically anything. Life Preserver, better safe than sorry. Saturnus, how does it feel when the very universe conspires against you? And beautiful creatures. See, I told you they were beautiful. Uh. Wow, no wonder you made D tier so quickly. Anyway, about the message, I got a call from some mysterious person asking me to tell you to go to the engine core. Isn't that the coolest? You must be pretty popular to have something creepy like that happen. Hello, is, uh, is this seat free? Of course, help yourself. Keep that silly smile to yourself, kid. I wasn't talking to you. What? No, 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 no. Making D tier is nothing special. In fact, making A tier is nothing special. I can tell you're a sore loser, so stick to the shallow end of the pool. If you don't like getting hurt, goodbye. What was her problem? Sorry about that one, no, no, no. The undefeated is the only top tier player in the ship, but she thinks she gets to be root pants just because she's never lost a match. I wish I could say that to her face, but I don't think I should. Anyway, someone's waiting for you in the engine court. Don't leave them hanging. Well, there's our answer. What a noisy place. Kind of smells like bear, too. Now, where's the person who wanted to see me? Okay, well, customarily click for coins. Office. Not that way. We've got a cyber turnip. We don't actually have a lot of cash here. There's, like, bear max. There's... 
whatever the hell these are. I'm actually not getting a whole lot of click points here. Yeah, there's one coin off of the bear's... Two coins off of the bear's eye. Ah, a little bit more from that. It's weird. It might not be taking my clicks or something. It'd be neat if I could actually see all the little click points, but... Yeah, alright, that's kind of the extent of it, unless it's, like, hiding somewhere in the big gloopity gloops or the bear claw. Right, did I already get it? Alright, whatever. Welcome to the Engine Core. What can I do for you? Should I mention the message I received from the informant? Sure. You're here to meet someone. Doesn't ring a bell with me. Try someone else. Who are you? And what are you doing here? Message? Uh, mention the message. Sure. What? Someone wanted to meet you in the Engine Core. None of my business. Go on. Scram. Punk. Yeah, what'd you want? Messen mention the message. Yeah. Uh-huh. Some mysterious person wanted to meet you in the engine core? Well, you found him. He's <laughs> surprised it was that easy. So, I've got this top secret info for you, but it's not going to come cheap. It'll be 10 million credits. Sure. Hey, you ain't got the money. Whatever. I'm sure we can work something out. Let's see. I'll spill the info if you can beat Bear Engineer over there in a card battle first. Good luck with that. Hehe. <laughs> <laughs> What's with that look? What? A card battle? Can't you see I'm busy working on the bear reactor? Not that it's much of a job, anyway. In my day, we had to mine those bears by hand, not simply turn a dial and have all the bear you want appear out of thin air. Kids these days don't know the rush of swinging from one bear to the next, parting the air with your aerodynamic spike shoes. Uh... To tell you the truth, it wasn't always easy. Everyone stealing your bear left and right, mutated birds eating you alive, having to s sing your own theme song all day long. Worst of all were the reindeer, those poor, wide-eyed creatures lining up to soften your fall. After another slip of the chain axe brought a tear to many a miner's eye. Even there was the l even uh, then there was the lousy wage and your demanding boss and the economic depression. And the endless hospital lines. Hmm. Uh, in other words, working with a bear reactor isn't half bad. Why, this spaceship is probably the nicest place I've ever been in my life. What was it you wanted again? A nice game of cards? That sounds like fun. Let's have a go, shall we? This should be fun. Alright, let's just keep using Battle Deck. I assume I haven't really gotten any new cards that I gotta mess around with. I should probably pick up some more Fassens, just because Potato is amazing. Uh, let's see, Bob Ship might not be a bad idea. Let's get Bob Ship over, uh... Candy Snake. Candy Snake is pretty good, but still. Okay. Yeah, we have Goddess of Explosions, but that doesn't work that great for me. Jenny Bird would be interesting, and Bird Deck would be cool. But risky. Killer Carp, much like the uh, Skull King. Actually, oh, I only have one Skull King equipped. If I had two, I'd switch for the Killer Carp, but I do not. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Because Nether, Bir Nether Bird, I'd like to do a damage deck at some point that's all placement cards. But. I don't know if they'd be any good. Yeah, Tosca would be interesting, but not for this deck. Nope. Okay, yeah, something I'll look at at a, at a later date. For now, let's just fight. Hopefully, maybe, like, one or two boosters from now. Oh, it's a seance. Uh, it's a Ouija board, not a seance board. Okay. Bear Miner. Oh, yeah! When active and your opponent plays a card, move this card to a random space. Alright, so I got... So I don't want to do Mr. X immediately. I mean, honestly, I should almost lead with heart. Because that gives me an easy silence. To work off of. Okay. 
what we do. Eh, probably pitch and cat strike. Let's see, because yeah, I can't fit in Mr. X right now. Ah, oh, but now I can, but now it's pointless. Let me see. Well, Masked Ruby. Gives me a short bit, and I can always put down, like, Cruiser Tetron or Crossover Adventure. I'll probably do Crossover Adventure. Oh, right, it's non-conductive. Well, never mind, there goes my combo, but that's okay. I, I'm i less worried about it than I used to be. But it looks like this guy's maybe a bit more of an aggressor deck. All right, let's, let's get Bob's ship down. We'll get some slots opening up fairly soon, and it looks like I can get some goodies. Go with that. Let's see, Super Enemy Zyger. I'm just trying to see how to do these things. I guess I'll just keep chaining shields for a little while. A shield deck would actually be really cool at some point. Uh, it'd be hard to specifically plan and like develop, but it would be cool. What do we do? Cruiser Tetron? Oh. Well, there's the answer. We'll just put in Raft. Yeah, we got the we got this fight. Which should be pretty obvious, but still. Let's see. Do we do Fasten? We need to... He does not have much HP left. Uh... Go Super Enziger. Thank you, Heart, for being wonderful. Yeah, this deck is... Pretty strong. I something's gonna mess it up at some point. Uh well, we're about to win, so I'm just gonna put down like Fasten or whatever. Cause yeah. He does a lot of damage to me, but I do more damage to him, and the occasional shield helps out quite a lot. So unless he like starts pulling out some major hits, we're good. Yeah, I do miss the uh, the depth of strategy in Card City Knights 2, but I think it's just because I haven't gotten far enough in this one uh, to really get like a better strategy than just hitting them as hard as I can. <laughs> Expertly played, young one. Thanks for the game. What? What? You actually won? Ah, well, I guess it means it's time for your final test. If you want that secret info, you gotta beat me as well. All right, that's easy enough. Eh, this won't take long. I should probably delete this deck. Because I've more or less replaced it. Uh, I guess I could have gone and spent my money, but whatever. Hell yeah, potato. Pay a mana token to deal one damage. Okay, well, that's kind of useless. Yeah, so we're up against a placement deck. I was curious about if we were going to run into one of those. Let's see. It's a placement and a peeker deck. Which is interesting. I'm down with that though. It's a... It's a cool combo. Okay, do we do Pitch and Cat Strike? No, can't do Pitch and Cat Strike. Could do Jenny Fox, Master Ruby, or I'll just put uh, Hype Snake down to slow him down for a bit. Plus, that gives me something that I can uh, build off of kind of freely. Okay, and let's do Jenny Fox. Ah, who doesn't last long, but that's okay. Unfortunately, Hype Snake always ends up in kind of stupidly useless locations, but that's okay. Okay, that's less stupidly useless. Unfortunately, it is stupidly useless in, in the fact that I can't actually match anything with it right now. Well, it's fine. Uh, I'm just going to put Jenny Shark down. We'll probably pair it off with Pitch and Castor. I could have moved it up now that I'm thinking about it. Well, that's okay. Or I can pair it off. I can pair this off with Raft. There we go. A hype's... Oh, pop my bubble. 
They don't like the bubble mechanic. It's it's definitely deeper, but it uh, it has unintentional consequences that I'm not always a fan of. I don't like it when I have consequences. Okay. Uh, can't do pitch and cast strike. I guess we'll just chuck Benny on. Because that combo is about to go anyway. Yeah, so we're we're up against a, a placement deck. Which is actually really cool. Like, uh, the effects are interesting. Let's do... I'd like to do Bob's ship somewhere, but... Deck's starting to... Or not the deck, the, uh, the board's starting to get a bit full. Like, obnoxiously so. What? Oh, I put her there. Well, you know what? That's okay. Unfortunately, I'm getting kind of blocked off here. Oh, let's get the hearts down. Let's see. Uh, I actually got to do Candy Snake. I didn't mean to put Pitch and Cat Strike there, I was just moving things around. I might actually be in trouble. Well, I got Jenny Flower or... No, we want Mr. X. Let's just silence Bob's ship. I'd like to do Jenny Flower, but... Uh, getting that three damage in here is a good idea. Yeah, board is getting full. Uh, anybody... That'll work, but they won't be there for a while. Um, if I do heart, oh, heart will go away. This is a hard one. Yeah, my couple of bad combos is screwing me over. Because, yeah, putting Jenny Shark down and getting blocked off per uh, permanently for that. Oh, maybe maybe not as permanently as I thought. Uh, let's see. So, if I put Cruiser Tetron down there preemptively, we might be able we might be able to get a card in. Okay, didn't block me. That's good. I'm losing though. Oh crap. I did it wrong, and I lose. It was close. If I hadn't missed with uh, Pitch and Cat Strike, we would have had it. Wait, I won? I mean, yeah! You couldn't beat me in a Google here, so don't even bother trying again. Let's try again. Feh, this won't take long. Okay. Yeah, I, I believe my deck can deal with it. It's just, uh, it's a placement deck uh, that doesn't need to pull combos, uh, combined with a couple other things that's not easy to deal with. So I'll just do Super Enziger. Masked Ruby. Don't want to do... Well. Crossover Adventure. Yeah, play placement decks are cool, but super annoying. And I don't actually want to stop her from playing cards for the most part, because placement-wise, I just want to get... Uh, I don't want to get rid of things. I don't want to hit them. So let's mute that. Let's see. Placement, take one damage, resolve, deal two. There we go. I don't, I don't like crossover adventure at all. I got to get rid of it. It's a bad move. All right, let's get Jenny Shark. I guess I could have gotten Mast Ruby, but his pla his placement wasn't going to be that useful either. Uh, let's see. So we got Mast Ruby, Fire Mace, Jenny Fox. None of these are immediately useful. Oh, Mast Ruby. And Hype Snake. Or maybe not Hype Snake, maybe... No, 
I don't really want to do Jenny Flower now that I'm looking at it. Ah. Uh, because, yeah, Jenny Flower would pop my bubble, so what's the point of it? Uh, let's see. Yeah, I've probably made that mistake a bunch of times. Well, I'll start with this. We, we've we definitely got more of a roll going on here. Oh, actually, we win. There we go. It wasn't too hard, and 16 credits for that. Dang it! Should've known I'd lose. So, yeah, top secret information. I'm just kinda here for the vending machines, okay? I've been trying to hack them for days, but no luck. I bet the one who called you down here was the head of the engine core staff. The office in the back is locked, but there's a loose panel just to the left of the, the pipe nearby. That's your way in. Heh. <laughs> Glad you got me to help you out, huh? Good luck in there, I guess. Alright, uh, let's go buy some boosters. Uh, it's deck modifying time. I don't have enough time for... Uh, I don't have enough time for a second bout. Hyperdusa. Placement. Deal one damage to the player with the most amount of life. And, okay, it's kind of sketchy, but I'll take it. Okay, and Dynamite. Placement. Activate this card. Resolve. Deal one damage and take one damage. Okay. Let's see, what else do we do? Not much. Uh, none of these guys have cards for trade. So... Yeah, I want to do uh, an Apathetic Jenny deck at some point. Was it? Or Apathetic Frog deck at some point, but I'm not finding the cards for it. At all. Somebody's gonna have to have it somewhere. I'm just going to kind of look around and see who I can trade with. Stop right there, space citizen. What? I didn't do nothing. I'm just out for shop. I'm just out shopping for supplies. A likely story to a less observant man than me. Are those fish bun chips I smell? Shoot. I guess I haven't washed these overalls in weeks. You do know that fish bun chips haven't been on sale for thousands of years, and the purchase of any illegal reproductions is strictly, well, illegal. But I haven't bought any copies. This smell comes from my own genuine bag of fish bun chips. I even have the receipt. Hmm. Oh, hmm. Purchased from Bob Spaceships and Fish Bun Parts in 23587. Yes, this checks out. See? Nothing illegal going on here. Quite. My apologies, Space Citizen. Move along now. Hehe. <laughs> I could theoretically be carrying any number of reproductions right now. Not that that dude is doofus would ever know. That's amusing. Oh, what's she got? She's got birds, right? Yeah, so we could, like, do the whole bird arrow thing, but that's not really that useful. Um, and I assume traveling in here... Can't trade with either of them. Do they say anything new? When it comes to the card game, fooling the opponent comes first. Always leave at least two openings for yourself while you're at it. Yeah, I'm not so good at that. Okay, uh... Yeah, no, not much of anything. I guess I'll go take a look at science, but I think I'm just gonna have to... Uh, I'm just gonna have to keep rolling until I get what I need. I mean, we could always look into a fish bun deck as an amusing thing. Uh, but I don't know if it's worth... Now, if I do just Candy Snake... Ah, so I can trade a card for a card. Well, let's get another fi Primal Fish Bun. Because I would actually like to try a fish bun deck, but I need a lot more fish buns. I think you could only have a couple of those at a time. Looks like I am starting to load up on spares, though, which is helpful. Okay, well, I know it's a bit early, but this is actually a good good stopping point. So I will see you guys in the next episode of Cardi Card City Nights 2. And, as always, thanks for watching. I'm, like, choking on my own words here. Well... <laughs>